I'm going to be showing you the top 30 print on demand mug niches on Etsy with high monthly search volume and low competition with proof. I've done similar videos in the past for t-shirts, stickers, and digital art. And as you can see yesterday, someone commented saying they made a sale in just five days from one of the niches that I recommended. Now that is awesome, but honestly, not that surprising considering these are chosen as the top 30 out of over 2,000 in-demand keywords all for free in this video. So coming up, we've got a keyword with 877 monthly searches and only 22 results. Another one with 1,071 monthly searches and only 12 results. And one with 3,373 monthly searches but only 791 results right now. These are very rare keywords and so many more of these all coming up later in this video. Make sure to watch until the end for an exciting announcement about my YouTube channel as well. The keywords in this video are being searched for, but there's still not many results for them yet. So if you create listings with these keywords, you have the potential to get seen quickly without needing thousands of listings. Now disclaimer that I make in all these videos, this is not a 100% guarantee that you will make money, even though, you know, somebody did comment that they made a sale, which is great, but you still have to go and test these out for yourself. I can't predict the future. I can only give you the evidence statistically that these are great keywords to try out, but the only way to know if something actually sells is to do the work and upload the listings. But it is important to focus on testing niches backed by research because you know, your time is limited and getting into a market gap, uh, which applies to all the niches in this video, is a great way of getting it traffic fast. Again, if you're new here, I'm gonna show you how I found these niches and how I cherry picked the top 30 out of 2,500 keywords and how you can be sure that these are amazing keywords to try out. So my Etsy keyword research tool is called Sales Samurai. And one of its features is this uh, Chrome extension, which if you type in a keyword you want to sell in, for example, a coffee mug, and then you click on 500 more, it's going to pull up a page like this, which suggests 500 uh, long tail keywords at a time with their search volume and competition data. It also has a lot more features. That's just the Chrome extension. If you want to use this to do your own research, you can get a three day free trial link in the description with 20% off using my code tier 20. Full disclosure, I'm an affiliate, uh, but I think it's a useful tool and it's worth the money. But as you've seen, it only gives you 500 keywords, which have to contain the exact keyword that you've typed in for every search that you do. Now there's a lot of different long tail keywords that someone could type in um, who's looking for a mug. So these were the most common ones being searched on Etsy and I used these as my search terms. Then I took that data and I exported it from each search term into this Excel spreadsheet. I merged it all into a list and then I sorted by the order of uh, monthly search volume with the highest being at the top. Now this list has 2,501 keywords ranging from uh, 26,600 to 11 searches per month, including some repeats because of overlapping from search terms. But that's still quite a lot of keywords and we know that all of these are being searched for. So all of these have some kind of demand. And then from these, I filtered down. So my first criteria was a competition, which you can see in this column, anything more than 2000 results isn't really worth considering for me. Anything less than that, I color coded using conditional formatting. So um, less than 99 in this green color, between 100 and 300 in light green, 500 in orange, 500 and 1000 in this sort of cream color, and then 1000 and 2000 gray. So all the keywords with uh, any kind of color in this competition column have low competition. And which color it's highlighted in tells me how low that competition is. Next, I added this column called search competition ratio, which is demand divided by competition. And this is really to find out which keywords have the best proportion of demand and competition. So you can get keywords with decent monthly searches and still less than 2000 results, but the competition uh, might still proportionately be higher than the amount of uh, searches that the keyword is getting. So I've decided that I don't want anything less than 0 0.5. So we need the monthly searches to be at least half the number of results or more. And that narrows it down to all the keywords that have 
both of these columns colored but we can't use them all some of them need to be excluded so firstly i excluded misspellings and keywords with a sort of random punctuation which are not niches and then i excluded trademarked words names of brands uh, other people and other businesses for intellectual property such as these and i just included the top 30 with the highest monthly search volume in this video now fulfillment wise printify is the best platform to source pod mugs they've kindly agreed to partner with me for this video and i'm sure most of you have heard of them i've used them myself and mentioned them a lot of times before they've got over 1000 different products in their catalog and they're used by over 3 million sellers worldwide so massive pod company uh, they're completely free to use and on average they're 20% cheaper than other platforms and as you can see they have a pretty wide range uh, wide selection of mug styles with the ceramic mug coming in at just $4.63 before shipping which is the lowest that I've seen another strength they have is really fast fulfillment so worldwide shipping usually under two days and most orders get to customers within three to six days. So what keeps them competitive is that they're not actually a single provider, but they host a variety of fulfillment partners on their platform. So uh, for most products, they have multiple suppliers that all compete on price, shipping times, and customer rankings. So that keeps the quality high. They also integrate with Etsy, which means that you can connect your account to automate fulfillment. So when a customer places an order in your Etsy shop, uh, Printify receives the order and all you have to do is go into your dashboard, click a button, and then they will print and ship the order to your customer all without you touching the product. And obviously this means it's risk-free. There's no upfront investment and they only charge you after the customers paid you, which is you know, how print on demand works. You can sign up using the link in my description. So as I said, we've got some keywords with really nice stats coming up, but we're gonna go from the one with the least to the most search volume per month. Number 30 is the keyword Egrets coffee mug with 110 monthly searches on Etsy and just 55 results, giving it a search competition ratio of exactly two. And this is what shows up on the first page when I search for it. So an egret is a type of bird. It kind of looks similar to a heron. Here are some listings that got quite a lot of uh, views and likes. This is a popular listing for people that like birds and ornithology. Um, egrets, I've had a few, like egrets, regrets, you get it. So um, yeah, and this is one of a heron, which has quite a lot of views. They've also tagged it with egrets, so it shows up when you search for that keyword. A lot of heron related products, but not many for egrets or, you know, with that word egret in the title. So if you use this keyword, you'll rank higher than the other sellers for relevancy because people are actually searching for this keyword specifically. These are just some of the other tags for this keyword. Number 29 is the keyword mug personalized for padrinos with 125 monthly searches on Etsy, 69 results, giving it a search competition ratio of 1.81. Now, according to Google, padrino can mean a uh, best man at a wedding, or in Spanish speaking countries, it can mean a godfather or a patron. Here are some listings that got quite a lot of views and likes. As you can see, some of the listing images have the mugs inside boxes. So that's a good mock up idea or you know, even if you order one of your own products and then you take a photo of it in the box and you can Photoshop the design out and then use that as your own mock-up. It definitely makes it seem like it's a more organic product photo. This is obviously not a mock-up. It looks very good and it's in three people's carts right now. These insulated tumbler designs that can be personalized um, are also pretty popular. Printify obviously does mugs, but they do like these tumblers and insulated mugs and water bottles as well and here are some of the tags for this keyword number 28 is the keyword jelly bean coffee mug with 132 monthly searches on etsy and 259 results giving it a search competition ratio of 0.5 so this is a popular one and as you can see it literally just says jelly beans but the reason it's popular is because of this uh, font so ray dunn is this ceramist whose style got really popular and you'll see a lot of products that sell well in this font. It might also be called a uh, farmhouse font. And it's particularly stuff like homeware and pottery type stuff like this. So another example, it's a personalizable mug. You are my favorite human being. 
ha ha, very funny. It's got both sides, front and back, and obviously, you know, you can do the design the whole way around, so that's just an addition. And these are some of the other tags for this keyword. Number 27 is the keyword uncool mug with 135 monthly searches on Etsy and 53 results, giving it a search competition ratio of 2.54. So this phrase is based on Real Housewives in New York. This person is called Luann and she was basically like, be cool, don't be all like, uncool. And that became kind of a meme. Here are some listings that got quite a lot of views and likes. Remember, people are already searching for uh, this phrase in particular. So if you can avoid it, then I'd suggest don't put any keywords relating to the Housewives show because that's the television company's intellectual property, right? So this is one mug getting a couple of views. And this is another text-based one, pretty much the same thing. These are some tags, again, uh, you know, I'd recommend not putting in the Housewives TV show related tags because of intellectual property. Number 26 is the keyword Ugh, as if mug with 171 monthly searches on Etsy and 138 results right now, giving it a search competition ratio of 1.23. Now, this is a phrase from the 1990s movie called Clueless. Uh, it's a romance comedy movie, but in general, it can be just, you know, a phrase to express disgust, like, ugh. Here are some listings that got quite a lot of views and likes. This is a popular mug design. Notice the Ray Dunn style font again, very popular on Etsy. This is a similar text-based one that's not referencing the movie directly. It's just sort of a uh, funny, sassy, sarcastic kind of phrase. And these are some of the other tags for this keyword. Number 25 is the keyword NJ coffee mug with 174 monthly searches and 208 results, giving it a search competition ratio of 0.83. NJ stands for New Jersey, which is a state in the US. And some listings with a lot of views and likes here. This is a popular design with uh, a lot of views. Very nice design as well. If they just lowered the price, I think they probably get a lot more sales. But um, yeah, it is handmade, so it costs a lot more there. This one is a common design. It's got the outline of the state, which is a popular design style for states and locations. And these are some of the other tags for this keyword. Number 24 is the keyword temptations mug with 184 monthly searches on Etsy and 96 results, giving a search competition ratio of 1.91. These are the most liked and viewed listings. Um, obviously a range because this word can be interpreted in a lot of different ways. It's hard to say what's right or wrong when it comes to what the customers actually want. This one is a quote. I obviously don't understand what this says, but the design style uh, seems to be pretty popular and the font as well. This one is the beginning of a Bible quote, just a funny text-based Valentine's one. And these are some of the other tags for this keyword. Number 23 is the keyword IVF coffee mug with 187 monthly searches on Etsy and 344 results, giving it a search competition ratio of 0.54. IVF stands for in vitro fertilization. So when couples have sort of fertility problems, they can undergo this procedure called IVF. And basically the uh, sperm and egg are fused together in the lab and the fertilized egg is put back into the womb so that the woman can have a baby. Here are some of the listings with a lot of views and likes. This one is a popular listing. It's not so much aimed at sort of people undergoing IVF, but a lot more towards the doctors, the obgyny nurses, and those kind of medical professional people. If you see my t-shirt niches video, you'll know that people on Etsy search for a lot of gifts relating to medical professions. Um, on shirts for some reason. But now that I thought about it, it's probably because the um, income range for those people is just about right to be buying this kind of stuff. So this is another one with quite a few views and likes. And obviously this is targeted towards parents, um, or should I say you know, people that want to be parents who are undergoing IVF. And these are some of the other tags for this keyword. Number 22 is a keyword stats coffee mug. Uh, with 197 monthly searches and 252 results on Etsy right now, giving it a search competition ratio of 0.78. Here are some listings with the most views and likes. Um, obviously, stats can be interpreted as a few ways, so like nerdy statistics or 
video game stats so things like hp health speed stuff like that right this one is a funny one aimed at gamers and the idea behind it is like you know in real life coffee is leveling you up basically this is quite an interesting one i quite like this one it's aimed at adults with adhd which stands for attention deficit hyperactivity disorder and it's showing the different uh, traits that a person with ADHD might have. These are some of the other tags for this keyword. Number 21 is the keyword glitzy coffee mug with 209 monthly searches on Etsy and 232 results, giving it a search competition ratio of pretty much 0.9. So this is what shows up on the first page for this keyword. Obviously a lot of sort of 3D designs that you won't be able to get with print on demand a um, bunch of rhinestones and stuff on the mugs, but you can still emulate that shiny, sparkly texture using the right colors and gradients. These are the listings with most views and likes. This one's not too fancy. It's just a very simple text-based design with uh, quite a few views. This one's a very nice uh, Halloween-based artwork. And these are some of the other tags for this keyword. Number 20 is the keyword Leon Burger Coffee Mug with 212 monthly searches on Etsy and 44 results, giving it a nice search competition ratio of 4.8. Now, Leon Burger is uh, this type of dog, these large furry brown dogs and here are some listings with most views and likes i was normal two leon burgers ago this one's a pretty funny simple text-based design for people that own this breed of dog and you can really replace this with any breed of dog as long as it's you know a high competition low demand uh sorry high demand low competition niche another one here this is uh stubborn leon burger tricks um i like that stay there's nothing there. And these are some of the other tags for this keyword. Number 19 is a keyword Oroco coffee mug with 215 monthly searches on Etsy and only five results right now, giving it a humongous search competition ratio of 43. That at least, you know, when I searched for it, like yesterday, there was only five results. So Oroco is a village on Oroco Island. It's part of uh, North Carolina's coastal Outer Banks region and uh, North Carolina is a US state. Now this mug, I found it, but it strangely does not show up for this keyword when you type it in. Um, it does contain all the words in the title of this keyword, so it should show up, but I don't really know why that is. Um, it just shows how terrible Etsy's search function is for customers, but you know, nevertheless, I managed to find it. So here is a bit of inspiration for you. Again, because there's only five results, I won't be showing you any more examples, but you've seen previous uh, examples of city and location-based designs, right? These are some of the other tags for this keyword. Number 18 is the keyword SLP mug personalized with 260 monthly searches on Etsy, 356 results, giving it a search competition ratio of 0.6. SLP stands for speech and language pathology and... Uh, a speech and language therapist is a medical professional who supports people with uh, communication and eating and drinking, sometimes uh, difficulties as well. So here are some of the listings that got quite a lot of views and likes. This text-based design is getting a lot of views. This one is obviously very similar. It's personalized as well so the customer can enter their name and the degree another personalized one with a more artistic design uh, notice the ray dunn font up here you get the idea right and these are some of the other tags for this keyword number 17 is a keyword misanthropy coffee mug with 224 monthly searches on etsy and just 30 results giving it a search competition ratio of 7.46 this is what shows up on the first page there's all this same seller hogging the first page but their designs aren't really relevant to that keyword um, which that they've tagged it with so misanthropy means a dislike of humankind so basically the whole you know the anti-social normal people scare me kind of niche here are some listings that got quite a lot of views and likes it's i hate everyone mug really simple text-based design has the most views and obviously a lot of people relate to this another one pretty funny artistic design and these are some of the other tags for this keyword. Number 16 is the keyword Sisyphus mug with 363 monthly searches and 141 results, giving it a search competition ratio of 2.57. So in Greek mythology, Sisyphus was this guy. He managed to cheat death and he got 
punished by Hades, who is the god of death for not dying when he should have, who's basically like, here's this massive rock, roll it up this hill, and every time it gets to the top, it'll just roll back down again, and you just got to keep doing that forever. Tough luck, mate. Albert Camus was this famous philosopher who wrote about Sisyphus, and a lot of people kind of use this story as a metaphor for their lives, basically. Like, they're working a dead-end job on repeat, or they're trying to do something over and over and not getting any results. Some of the listings with the most views and likes here. This mug with a quote from Albert Camus about Sisyphus. Notice the retro sunset design, a very popular merch design style. And this one is kind of a gag gift for the office where everyone works a nine to five on repeat. These are some of the other tags for this keyword. Number 15 is the keyword thrifting mug with 382 monthly searches on Etsy and 757 results, giving a search competition ratio of 0.5. The thrifting, as I'm sure most of you know, is when people shop for cheap items. Uh, it can be a hobby in itself. It doesn't necessarily mean, you know, people typing in this into the search bar looking for a cheap mug. These are the listings with most views and likes for this keyword. Uh, the top viewed listing, thrift, list, sell, ship, repeat girl boss gift. I mean, whoever's doing this clearly hasn't heard of print on demand, but notice how these don't even have that many listing images. So just one mock-up that shows what it's all about. And, you know, while having 10, all 10 images is ideal. If you're just selling a mug with one design on it, it might not be necessary to, you know, see that mug in five different places, right? So it's just a time uh, reward trade-off. This one is a very simple design, but it's got quite a few sales. Um, anyone could make this on Canva in like 10 seconds. And these are some of the other tags for this keyword. Number 14 is the keyword Opa coffee mug with 378 monthly searches and 367 results, giving it a search competition ratio of 1.02. So Opa is an informal German name for grandfather or grandpa it has another meaning, so in Greek, it's uh, an emotional expression. These are some of the listings that got a lot of views and likes. This is a customizable pair of coffee mugs, like a um, congratulations gift for new grandparents. This funny Trump mug also has a lot of likes, and these are some other tags for this keyword. Number 13 is a keyword OM coffee mug with 384 monthly searches on Etsy and 354 results, giving it a search competition ratio of 1.08. Om is a sacred syllable in Hinduism, the prime symbol in Hinduism. Uh, it's also something that people say when they do yoga. Here's some listings that got quite a lot of views and likes. So this Om unicorn uh, doing yoga mug is pretty popular, the most viewed listing. This one with the uh, the character in watercolor also has a lot of views and likes. I think this artistic watercolor paint style is quite commonly seen on Etsy as well. And these are some of the other tags for this keyword. Keyword number 12 uh, is the keyword avoid people funny coffee mug. It's kind of like the misanthropy one, the antisocial one. Uh, with 475 monthly searches and 411 results, giving it a search competition ratio of 1.15 so it's another one of those um introvert niches here are some listings with most views and likes so this transparent coffee mug is obviously really popular compared to the rest this is a bestseller it's in 20 carts right now people really seem to like this phrase again the same phrase here uh, wears black avoids people and drinks coffee and these are some of the other tags for this keyword pretty much you know the same thing repeated over and over again number 11 is the keyword Ugh, mug with 570 monthly searches on Etsy and 884 results giving a search competition ratio of 0.64 and this is what shows up on the first page when I search for it these are some of the listings that got quite a lot of views and likes so this one's got the most uh, views uh, it's literally just a mug that says ugh and this one again is the ugh as if mug if you're gonna make a design for this niche you know, why not include both of those keywords so uh, as if and uh, mug, um, you can get a lot of traffic with those two. These are some of the other tags for this keyword. Number 10 is the keyword TO mugs with 694 monthly searches on Etsy and 635 results, giving a search competition ratio of 
1.09. So tío means uncle in Spanish and tía means aunt. Here's some listings that got quite a lot of views and likes. This one, I quite like this design. So it's combining nachos with uncles. And this one is just totally in Spanish. It's one of those definition text-based designs, but you could definitely do one of these in uh, English. And these are some of the other tags for this keyword. Number nine is the keyword STFU mug, which we all know stands for. This keyword has 694 monthly searches on Etsy and 961 results, giving a search competition ratio of 0.72. Here's some listings with a lot of views and likes. This phrase in particular seems to be quite popular. Um, you know, funny cuss word mugs are just a popular niche on Etsy in general, but make sure not to be too vulgar in case people report you, but you know, anything like this should be fine. So this phrase, as I said, is a popular one with the most views and likes. Another one here. I just find it funny how people like this phrase on designs with all these nice flowers and lovely little patterns, but you know the irony. These are some of the other tags for this keyword. Number eight is a keyword umma mug with 706 monthly searches and 564 results, giving a search competition of 1.25. This is another one that I found could have two meanings. So it can mean mother in Korean, which I think is the main interpretation from looking at the products on Etsy. Or it can also mean the community of Muslims bound together by ties of religion. Here's some listings that got quite a lot of views and likes. This is a popular one with a lot of views, um, obviously in Korean. This one as well with pastel rainbow, popular on Etsy and Korean characters. And these are some of the other tags for this keyword. Number seven is the keyword SNCO mug with 706 monthly searches on Etsy and just 19 results in a search competition ratio of 37.1. SNCO stands for Senior Non-Commissioned Officer. Uh, now, I'm obviously not a military expert, but from what I understand, uh, well, what it literally says here, they have ranks in the Air Force from E1 to E9, and most people are E1 to 7, but anyone who's E8 or 9 is like elite skill level, and these people are called SNCOs, and the top 1% is E9. So here are some listings that got quite a lot of views and likes. This one is just a personalized gift. Um, see, it's not just for SNCOs or, you know, like the top 1% of the Air Force, which is obviously a very small market, but these let you put any rank on the mug. They've just tagged it with SNCO. So I think it would be preferable not to put the military logo on here as well, because that is trademarked. And something like this would be better. So just a definition text-based design. And these are some of the other tags for this keyword. Number six is the keyword udder mug with 774 monthly searches and 787 results, giving a search competition ratio of 0.98. Uh, now, when I first searched for this, some really weird stuff came up, but these are the first page listings. And these are some listings that got quite a lot of views and likes. This first one obviously is uh, out of the scope of print on demand. But this text-based design is very doable. It's got a front and a back. It's great for Mother's Day, Mother's Day. And these are some of the other tags for this keyword. And five is a keyword Ubuntu mug with 877 monthly searches on Etsy and 22 results, giving it a very nice search competition ratio of 39.86. Ubuntu is a operating system, uh, Linux distribution based on Debian and mostly composed of free and open source software. I'm not a programmer, so I can't really tell you much more than that. Um, it can also be a word that emphasizes the importance of a group or community. Here are the most popular listings with a lot of views and likes on Etsy. This funny quote phrase one got a lot of views. Uh, it does have the Linux Penguin logo. So for intellectual property reasons, it would obviously be preferable to not have that. This one's a text-based definition type design based on the um, philosophy meaning of the word. And here are some other tags for this keyword. Number four is a great one because it could technically be combined with any niche. It's keyword 18 ounce ceramic mug with 1,069 monthly searches and 687 results, giving a search competition of 1.55. Now combining this keyword with any other keyword on this list would be a pretty good idea. And luckily for you guys, Printify has a 20 ounce ceramic mug 
which you can appropriately label 18 ounce mug. I don't know why people want 18 specifically, but feel free to you know, give them more bang for their buck. Here are some listings that got quite a lot of views and likes. There's no need to show you any examples because it's just, you know, a type of product. You can combine it with any niche. And these are some of the other tags for this keyword. Number three is another military one. It's the keyword TSGT coffee mug with 1,071 monthly searches on Etsy and uh, just 12 results, giving it a whopping search competition ratio of 89.25. So TSGT is, I guess, another Air Force rank, it stands for Technical Sergeant. So the second level of the NCO ranks in the Air Force. And these people are responsible for the career development of each subordinate under their supervision. Here are some listings that got a lot of views and likes. Again, this Trump design, uh, you're a great technical sergeant. This one with a military logo again, obviously not preferable, We've gone through that, but the definition text-based design is just fine. Now this one is a personalized uh, Air Force coffee mug with this camo pattern. And these are some of the other tags for this keyword. Number two is the keyword to go coffee mugs. So that's mugs plural with a dash between to go with 1,128 monthly searches and 1,285 results in a search competition of 0.78. Here are some of the listings that get a lot of views and likes. This colored tumbler, very summery and tropical colors. This tumbler, insulated kind of tumbler right here. This pastel, almost vintage sort of flowery design is another popular style. Um, but this one's f like a legit coffee cup rather than a mug. And these are some of the other tags for this keyword. And our number one is the keyword S Graffito mug with 3,373 monthly searches and 791 results, giving a search competition of 4.26. S Graffito, which means uh, scratched in Italian. Uh, it's technique used in painting and pottery and glass, which consists of putting down a preliminary surface, covering it with another, and then scratching the superficial layer in such a way that the pattern or the shape that emerges is of the lower color. Since this is a technique, it's not gonna be possible to emulate that with print on demand, but we can still look at the types of patterns and artworks that are popular for this keyword and then create listings in that style tagged with this keyword. So as some of these people have done, so these listings got a lot of views and likes. This one could pretty much be a print on demand design. There's not too much texture to it. And the same thing for this one, hopefully you get the idea. Um, it's just these kind of line art patterns that are popular for this keyword. You could definitely make something like this with print on demand. And these are some of the other tags for this keyword. I promised you an exciting channel announcement. So time to give a shout out to my very first channel member, Mr. Nichols. Uh, this is them and this is what they say. If you want to become a channel member and get a shout out at the end of every video, along with uh, any message of your choice, it can be anything as long as it's not <laughs> inappropriate and I will put it on blast to thousands of people. You get these loyalty badges and a custom emoji as well. Um, if you wanna support my work and get a shout out every video release while you're a member, just click the join button down below. But obviously no pressure. And if you want more keywords like this for other products like t-shirts, stickers, and digital art, check out this playlist on screen right now. And I'll see you in the next video.